Jesus then believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved they would say what some would say oh it's enough I have I have been faithful in uh, uh, fulfilling the Ten Commandments I did not uh, steal I honor my parents I did not kill I did not uh, what commit uh, adultery what else I did not commit my life my wife or commit another wife hmm? so I'm a good person therefore I do not need anything correct that person is a right self-righteous person therefore that is what they say they live by morality they are good people now remember this remember this when we die all of us are going to die the, the point is the the, uh, <clears throat> the bottom line because we are in the, in the age of bottom line the bottom line is are you prepared when you face death all of us are going to die that is a fact of life now if you are not ready then life I mean death would be horrible fearful but if you are already uh, plugged in the truth that you have an assurance of eternal bliss with God you know your future because God is yours then death for you is grace wonderful because that is only an exit to the most wonderful life forever with God. Therefore, morality is now distorted nowadays. You have to build integrity by continuing uh, in the Word of God, uh, just assimilating doctrine every day. And then number five, never assume that production is a means of divine blessing. Huh? That's number five. Manang number four. Number five says, never assume that production is a means of divine blessing. Oh, so many people are thinking that by doing good, hmm, that is a means of uh, receiving blessing from God. Hmm? Doing good. Example of doing good. Donating to the church. That's doing good. So everybody can see. Hmm? What else? By being so gentle, so sweet, so humble. Hmm? That is doing good. So people will see. See? Everybody praises. I have no enemies. Everybody is my friend. Because I am a politician. Yeah, politicians are everybody's friends. Now, <clears throat> So therefore, they depend on what? On, the, uh, on this uh, production, so they can have divine blessing. Hmm? Now you will be surprised. The Word of God says, so many people who have been very good in this life, very good in this life, are going to hell. If this is your first time to hear that, you will be shocked. But this is true in the Word of God that people who just depend on their good works are going to hell. Because that good work is not acceptable by God. The only good work that God accepts from man, from a believer, is divine good and in and this good is done inside the divine atmosphere that's it we have to depend on the divine production right now while you are sitting down you are only sitting down listening to the word of God right now if you are filled by the Holy Spirit you are performing divine good you are performing divine good right now and is already listed down in heaven that you have been listening to the word of God 
attentively to the message, not necessarily to the messenger, because you are objective, not subjective. Therefore, you are performing divine good inside the divine dynasphere. Therefore, I repeat number five, never assume that production is a means of divine blessing. And number six, depend totally on the integrity of God. Where is God's integrity? Where? Where can you find God's integrity? Where can it be found? No, of course, that's that's correct. Uh, in relation to our study, where can you find God's integrity? Where can you find? In schools, in universities? Where? Inside. Only inside the divine atmosphere can you find God's integrity. Therefore, if you want to acquire virtues and integrity and honor and what else? Tanan, kaya imong ipangandoy, na arain taon diha sa sunoy. And where is it? Actually, where is it found? Correct. It is in our uh, inside, sa atong bagul bagul. The integrity of God comes inside there. Right now, you are listening to the word of God, and you are assimilating, you are accepting it because you are positive, because God, the Holy Spirit, is the one teaching you. Then, diha musod ang integrity of God. And do, do you know that what you are doing is the is the uh, uh, the process of acquiring this integrity of God? Just imagine that integrity of God coming into your life. Nowadays, in this time and age that we are in, integrity is gone. People cannot be trusted anymore, cannot be reliable anymore. And it's very clear in God's Word that we are in an evil time. We are in the last days. Very clear analogy. Pariharas panahon ni Nua. The Ark of Noah is, uh, Noah is about to be completed. And yet, we are still in the age of grace. Bisang ganis pagbaya, na grace period. Correct? Na grace period one month. God is giving you grace period. Grace period. Gracia, wa kay paningkamot, igorang kamuto. You see? So the key, therefore, is faith. 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 Trust and trust. How? You cannot trust anybody who you do not know. You have to learn who and who, what he is. And that is what we are doing every Saturday, learning who and what God is, his integrity, and this integrity is learned. We take in our soul so we can apply. And the world who does not know God's integrity would say, Ah, um, saan sila? Ingon anak ba sila? See, claro kayo eh. You can discern now. I challenge you. You go to a group of unbelievers. Join them. Mingle with them. Oh, mufila tumbo baka. Now, depende. Depende po na di mo. If you are used to mingle with them and then join them, haha, parihara po kanila. You are not living the royal honor code. Looy, mutanaw ang Diyos niyo. Pastila, looy, amin niyong anak. Mano na siya. Why? Because of the big V. Volition. Man is always a product of his own decision. Always. Always. Whatever you do, 
If you fail, who is to blame? Other people? No, it's only you. You use your volition in. Even now, while we are here, you use the volition of coming here, right? You did not come here unless you use your volition. Your volition said, are you going to go there or not? Are you going or not? It keeps on asking you. And so the volition says, yes. Or sometimes the volition says, no, I'm tired. No, I'm busy. You see. In other words, God always looks at our volition 24 hours a day. God, God knows every particle of our mind, whatever we think, even those things that we are still going to think, God knows already. God knows everything, everything about you, who you are, what you are, where you are heading, where you are going. Grabi, listen. God knows in a few minutes you will do something. You know what I mean? Right now you are sitting, some, in a few minutes maybe you go to the toilet. God knows. God knows everything. Tingali galingkod ka na, amino ka, usahay mo yun na po ka. Budungo ka, God knows. Grabe ang iyong pagkasayo, diyan mo. Diya pa? He knows everything about you. He even knows who you are, what you are, long, long before, even in eternity past, God knew already who you are. And He knew already whether you are going to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. That's why when a person hears the gospel, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And He uses His volition. Look, look at this. He uses His volition the big V, as I've been telling you, the big V is what we are facing in this life. Big V. The big V, volition, is the decider. Okay? The stimulus is, cross represents salvation. The stimulus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. God is here. His ten essence. Sovereignty, righteousness, justice, <clears throat> love, eternal life, omniscience, omnipotence, omnipresence, immutability, veracity. That's God looking at anybody. Unsay yang tubag sa stimulus. So, a uh, man has volition. The positive pole and the negative pole. If he responds positively, then he appropriates Christ as Lord and Savior. He believes Christ as Lord and Savior. The result is eternal life. You become an eternal winner. You who have accepted Christ as Lord and Savior are already eternal winners. Eternal winners na mo Tingali, you, you, murag layo pa na ni mo sa imo huna-huna, no? That you are heading towards heaven. I've been telling you over and over again. Nga kamu dili na taga din hi, taga langit na mo. You are citizens of heaven. So therefore, we, you have to depend totally on the integrity of God. Number seven. What does number seven say? Remember that the honor code is for whom? All believers. Don't ever forget that. The honor code is for you. Number seven. More is demanded of the strong than the weak. Kamo who have been attending regularly and religiously and positively, listening to the Word of God, taking in doctrine, applying in your life, you are supposed to be strong. 
And because you are supposed to be strong in your Christian life, then God demands more from you. He demands more, what? More interest, more desire to learn more truths from the Word of God. More is demanded of the strong than the weak. So, that includes what? You're witnessing other people. Witness other people to come to the knowledge of Christ. Witness. We owe the world the gospel. Paul said, Gita uh, na ay obligasyon sa kalibutan. Imong mga higala, imong mga silingan, nga wapagyod makaila who the Lord Jesus Christ is. So many people. <clears throat> I'm delighted by <laughs> the attitude of our pastor. You know what he do, what he does every weekend. That's his that's his time to witness for for Christ. Bisag ko yung buhat when he goes to uh, fill his uh, car with gas, motorized gasoline station. Ugnay yung hinagbo dayon. Are you a Christian? Do you know Christ is. That's witnessing. And have you done that? Have you been doing that? Sa imong mga kauban, sa matrabaho, sa imong mga, mga silingan, have you done that? More is demanded of the strong than the weak. Number nine, orient to authority. Now, what do we mean by this orient to authority? Huh? Mchebut pa sa bot ni Oriental Authority. Uh -huh. Well, <clears throat> that includes children, young um, young children. They follow the parents. Hmm? They honor the parents. Parents are the first authority of children, right? Unang authority na himatan sa bata ang ginikanan. Right? And that is orienting to authority. Okay? Orient the children, train them to honor the parents. Aron inig kadako ang mga bata, hmm? mahamtong na sila, and then they attend Bible studies like this, then they are orienting themselves to authority. Who is the authority in our Bible study? Kanibang bro? Is he the authority? Tubag mo eh. Basing mo undang mo tayo. Wow, ano ko yung hindi mo katubag? Who is the authority in our Bible study? Is it is it the one standing before you? No. Correct. I know you can answer it. The one standing before you is only an instrument. The real the genuine authority is the Word of God. Because the Word of God is God. Nana, claro? Claro ba? Because the Word of God is the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ. Kini nga itong itunan, huna-huna ni Cristo, huna-huna sa Diyos. Tiyaw mo na, ang huna-huna sa Diyos, musod sa imong huna-huna. Now, Unsaon man pag ang tao dili kalihok. Man cannot perform his daily activity without using words or group of words. Correct? You have not grown up until you learned words. And so, even coming here, you have not come here without using words. You said, before you came here, you said, I'm going to Fontana at uh, Bing Bing's house to attend Bible study. Unsa naman to? Group of words. Correct? Diyan sa'yo mo una-una. You see? So, group of words. Now, you come to Bible study listening to the Word of God. These are words and group of words that come into your mind. And so, unsa? It motivates you to perform God's work. Dili na ni human, human uh, efforts kayo mong ibuhat. Diyos no na, uy. 
Bobito hong yi wani mo. While you are uh, just sitting there listening to the word of God, if you are filled by the Holy Spirit, how? How are you filled with the Holy Spirit? Simply what? Naming, yes, First John 1 is just naming, acknowledging, admitting that you have committed those sins today. Today, maybe you have committed mental attitude sins against your uh, co-employee, against uh, anybody, against any circumstance in life, against uh, uh, tingali gisaput uh, ka. By the way, di ba atong itunan na We have studied about sapot. Sapot is part of old sin nature. Kining sapot raba will just strike in any time. Hmm? Tin labi na, labi na ugutom ka. Na bitigin mo nila. What? A hungry man is an angry man, right? Na na. Sapot ang ubutan. Unsa man sapot? Dili abot ni ba? So, yung pagkaon yun eh. Nothing here in the table. Something to eat. I'm already hungry. That's sapot. And sapot is sin before God. Why? Why sin? Correct. Yes, it is part of our old sin nature. And that is why we come here every Saturday, listening to the Word of God, taking in the Word of God in our mind, in our cardia, aron maukini mupus gai alam anam sa o is in nga ikaw sigil sabot. You see? Daghantay alin ninyo din sa aron na sa puton. Apan karon nga sige na ka Bible study, Kining sapot na anam-anam nagka gamay. Kaya nga naman, it is the Holy Spirit mo yung mabadlong nga ni mo. Kaya kung isin mo kahit, sige, 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 sapot na, sige, sapot na. The Holy Spirit would say, No. What did I tell you? What did Vic Balbido tell you in your Bible study? See? Na, ha? Therefore, there is a fight, inward fight, between the old sin nature and God, the Holy Spirit within you. Sige, you fight every minute of your life. And so therefore, whoever has uh, more uh, victories, na, mauna. Mauna, ikaw nga believer nga uh, nagkaanam-anam, nagpusgay ni mong imong mga mga uh, shortcomings in life, ang imong pagsapot, ang imong pag uh, kanang uh, dishonesty. Hmm? These are part of the world. Iyahan is kalibutan. Ikaw na nagmanam na ugod sa kainanay mo ba't long ng pangutana? Unsa na ka? Niyan itong mga believers na why pagtuon sa pulong sa Diyos. Hindi pa maganit ang sige tagtuon, correct? Kung saan ang kajos, wa! Kung saan may resulta, zero balance before the eyes of God. See? <laughs> oh, that's wrong attitude. Say, ah, sige lang, langit bitaw. Oh, langit ka, pero taglimpyol di ka... Kasilyas dito. Ah, heaven and earth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Correct. 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 That's, the, that's it. That's it. That's it. Divine than a sphere is di ba di ingon ta ni mo o palas ni palas? Palas yun ni ni mo o eh. Now, nga nung hingo mong tagpalas, kinipalas ni? Because you are a royal family. Member of the royal family of God. That's why you are supposed to live inside the palace. Now, niya, when you go out, now, ano sa mga go out sa divine atmosphere? When you sin, kung mo, amo ah, yun, sapot, pasuko, pagdumot, vindictiveness, What else? What are the other mental attitude sins? Hmm? Kung sa tayo bang mental attitude sins na itong gitunan? Ha? Review. Ano, nakalimot na mga mo? 
Ang sama to la, tong tunan na po ni Gusto, ba? Just to refresh your mind, kaya nakalimot na mo, sige na po kong balik ko ka sa ating ali. Ha, wa ba? Okay. Ah, uh, there. Na, ha? Doon sa may una. Number one, sin, mental attitude. There are three kinds of sins. Mental attitude sins, sins of the tongue, overt sins. Okay? The worst kind of these three is mental attitude sins. Why? Because it cannot be seen by man. Only God sees a believer who sins. Okay? Mental attitude sins. Number one is pride. Pride. Can you see pride? It's inside. Mental attitude. Hmm? Kaya a person can be, when you look at him, can be humble. Humble lagi na siya. Pero deep inside, he is arrogant. Humble in a proud way. Muna yung sa ato, bisa bisa yung humblog. Sa humble ba niya, humblog di ay. Okay, now, pride. Now, why is pride number one list? In the Word of God. Why? It is the source of all sins. In fact, the first creature of God committed this first sin. Who committed this? Lucifer. You see? Si Lucifer. Moihing una o buhat nining pride. That's why God listed number one pride as the father of all sins. Pride. Jealousy. What is the... Sinunim ang pride. Arrogance. Okay? Naniya, naniya punto ha. Hindi siguro tagamayin yung arrogance. A person or a believer who is arrogant. Follow me very well. A person or believer who is arrogant. Where is arrogance? When a person or believer is arrogant, Pita na siya. Pita, presyura. What will happen? You know what's going to happen? He's going to react. And then when, o di siya, diligid siya maka, kung saan, makabuga, pakabunga sa iyang, iyang reaksyon? Kung saan, iyang buha to? Kung saan? Kung saan, may tabo? Paita. Self-pity. You see? That's the result. Kiman ini? That's the result of arrogance nga wa na nimo i-confess. Di gani na nimo i-confess nga to sa Dios. God knows that you have arrogance in you. God knows. Ako na kang giningda nga wa gyu kay kay kapuan sa Dios. So, if you have arrogance, immediately, immediately name it to God. Lord, this is arrogance. Aong ihatag ni mo diha Diyos. Aong ilamban yung tanan akong arrogance. So, you become humble. Because that's the that's the uh, the opposite of being arrogant. Therefore, aron yun mapusgay ni mo kining pride. Tanawa, ha? Tanawa ni. Aong nanggihi mo ni ni. Kaya there are two divisions or two categories of winners. Winners... Uh, can be losers or can be winners. Duha ka kategori sa believers. Only two. Why in between, ha? Wa gyoy taliwa. It's either you, as a believer now, it's either you are a, a winner or a loser. Now, if you are a loser, you are following Satan's honor code. Napo siya honor ko doon eh. You become a scam. Why hinungdan sa tubangan sa Diyos? You become a loser. Kay, you have weakness, you have personal sins, you have, you know, the old sin nature is controlling your life. Imagine, it's the old sin nature controlling your life. Unsa man ang mga lihok sa mong OSN. Ah, taliwa, the eyes, lust. What do you mean by lust? Sabi na sa'yo, Pangibog. Hmm? Lust. The desire. Murabag ka ng insatiable desire. Ha? Oh, obsession. Ka nang nag-urot-urot yung ka ang imong desire ba? 
passion. That's correct. That's part of uh, lust. Money ang mga, mga sorry, characteristics sa lust. Kanang pangibog. Kanang nangibog. Bukang kanang mga butang. Kanang, kanang daghan ba mga tao ba? Kanang pakibutang ba? Kanang bang inigmata gin lang? Saan po yung palito nun ha? <laughs> And if, if, yeah, the first thing in the morning when they wake up, they say, oh, what am I going to buy today? I had so much money in the bank. I want to use my money. You see? Because these people have no word of God. And the word of God says, when you have money and you have no word of God, you have love for money, you already have the root of all Remember this. Ayun na ni Kalimti, ha? Money is not the root of all evil. Not. Money is grace. Hinatag na sa Diyos. Paningkamot, gunan mo. Huwag ko kay tuwag sa iyong trabaho. Hmm? Usahay tingal yung home health ni mo. At to cash in it downtown. Ay, dagang mga, mga hadlock ng mga tao dito. So you are paid. But remember this. Wherever, pamina ha, wherever you are, you may be in a very bad area, critical area, but remember, when you are inside, hmm? Naganikas, Didi, unyo naaka anang, anang lugar ng mga halatan ng mga, mga maldito. God protects you. You are encapsulated. You have the wall of fire. What else? You have the guardian angel. Tulo na ka major protectors ni mo. You have the wall of fire, which comes from God. You have the guardian angel protecting you. And you have... Isa You are encapsulated. Kanang suga di ay mo makita. Kung imong imong kubta na, di ka kurintihan kay na ay... Incap, encapsulated na na ay naga alirong, correct naga putos niya na nga di ka makurintihan just like a believer who is inside the divine diasphere ayun ni Kalimte divine diasphere ikaw makabarog niya o wagyoy makatandong yung mabisa na lang kamay na tingali huwag na nakaan ng lugar ha Mubati ka kahadlo. Now remember, God promises, call on me in the day of trouble. Baruki na. Call on me on the day of trouble. And I'm going to protect you. Mauna na ang atong giingon nga. Unsa? Faith rest drill claim a biblical promise. You see, that's stage one. You claim a biblical promise. God works all things together for good. See? Natingali kay mga kangawaw sa inyo. Huwag mong kasabot pa yun. Huwag pa mong kukatrabaho. Huwag pa mong mahalo na. Huwag naman eh. Barug da yun. Barug da yun. Claim a biblical promise. Romans 8.28 God works all things together for good. Nana. If. Nana po, if. If you are inside the divine atmosphere. Ay na, kalimte. Kay kung mugawas gani ka, bantay. Bantay. Kay ang Diyos mismo mo ay mula tigo. Kung mugawas ka sa iyang divine and spirit, mahadlo ka na. Unsa pa? Unsa man ang, 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 ang sequence yun din yung kanibitang worry? Hmm? Pagsugod ni mo worry, oh, you cannot get rid of that. You do not rebound immediately. Kanira bang worry mo hagbong o unsa? Fear. Primero worry pa na ha? Kung niya mahagbong o fear, kung sa may sunod. Fear, anxiety, correct? Kung sa pa? Nervyos? Di, kung sa man? Kung naano ni Nimo di ha? 
You are already worried. You are fearful. You are kanang wanak. Di na kang kahuna huna o gusto y. Nin? Wala. Na pagkita. Kung ikaw na hadlok na, wa na ipikto ang doktrina, raba. Wala. Wa na ipikto. God, God, the Holy Spirit, cannot do anything. Why? Because it was through your volition that you get out of the divine atmosphere. Na ibaw ka naman. Na, when you worry, when you sin, you worry, immediately you get out of the divine atmosphere. Na ibaw ka naman. And so, unsa man, you are under God's discipline. Nusamot kang kahadlo. So therefore, immediately, rebound. Lord, nga nung maning nahadlok mag-o akong ibang. Imo man kung gingnan nga uh, imong pulong sa original word is batak. Batak means unsa? Ang imong kahadlok, ang imong mga kahangawa, tanan imo imong punito og ilambang ato sa Dios. That is batak. That is what we mean by that word. That just give everything, put in the hands of God, and God will do the rest. You see? And that is his promise. So therefore, You are orienting to authority right now. You are listening to the Word of God because you are orienting to authority. You who are oriented to authority, to the Word of God, you will be a person being oriented in your life to any kind of authority. That is why you are already developing, building your integrity of God. Diyan sa imong kinabuhi. Hmm? Kanyang tumurag sa iyo, rin mo i, kanang ilimod. Uh, kanang you, sometimes you, sorry, you tell a lie, sa iyo rin mo, mga white lies. Ngayon mo yun, white lie man to. <laughs> Before the eyes of God, there's no such thing as white lies. When it is a lie, it is a lie. God did not set His rule that there is an in-between now. It's either yes or no, white or black. That's God. But He is love. Muhigugma siya ni mo kung ikaw, you are orienting to His authority. Right now, you are orienting yourself to authority. You are humbling yourself. You are positive to Him. Woman mo mo. Ang hidin hi sa tungod kay guwapo ko. Just to crack the jokes. You are here because you love the Lord Jesus Christ. Right? You want to be oriented more about Himself. The only purpose we come here every Saturday is to make the Lord Jesus Christ real to our life. That's the only purpose. There's no other purpose why we come here. Aside from being oriented to authority, we want the Lord Jesus Christ, God Himself, become real to our life. And when He becomes real to our life, life would be abundant and you live a life to the fullest. That's what the Lord Jesus Christ promised. God does not lie. Whatever He says is true because He is perfect. That's why you are orienting to authority. What is number nine? Paspasan to gamay. No, number ten, I mean. Reciprocate for the privilege of hearing doctrine taught. Reciprocate for the privilege of hearing doctrine taught. How? How do you reciprocate? Hmm? How do you reciprocate? For the privilege of hearing doctrine taught correct, you got the right answer. Apply. God commands us to apply His word. Kasi ang gisulti ni mo last meeting we had, why are we commanded? Why are we commanded? We are commanded because we have free will, right? You cannot command a car to run by itself, because a car has no free will. 
That's what I told you last, last time. That's why the Word of God taught here and learned here must not only pass through from one ear to the other, it must be metabolized. What do you mean? You must take it in, you must believe in, you must accept it, because it is from God, not from me, from Him who is the source of everything, who does not lie, who is perfect, the source of everything you need in life. His word is perfect. What, does he, what did He say? Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will never pass away. That is why when you are positive to the word of God, you take in, you die physically, but the word of God remains in you forever. Wherever you go in this wide, wide world, if you have his word implanted, imprinted, already a part and parcel of your soul, then you become a reflector of God. Wherever you go, people will, will be amazed, people will be asking, who is this? Who is that guy? He's different. Why? Why are you different? Because you are different, because you belong to God. You do not belong to this world. The integrity, the honor, the virtue is already developed in your soul. You see, that's the process. You are reciprocating for the privilege of hearing doctrine taught. We do not deserve this kind of teaching. We do not earn this. But God provided this in eternity past. Why? Because He keeps on thinking about you. Even when He was hanging on the cross, His thinking was not focused on anything, but focused on you. You alone. Do not think of somebody sitting beside you. He was thinking of you. As if he was, he was saying, yes, because I love you. I'm doing this. I want to become poor so you will become rich. Foxes have, have holes. Birds have nests. But the Son of God has nothing to lie his head. That is the sacrificial uh, uh, redemption of God provided to mankind. Christ volunteered himself. He became a worm. So you will become, you will, you will wear the robe of righteousness and the perfect righteousness of God. That is why in our study here on the honor code, you are supposed to reciprocate for the privilege of hearing doctrine taught. This is all grace. Have you, have you, have you, uh, <clears throat> kanang, naklaro naman ninyo na this kind of Bible study is just grace? Yung galiho? Gracia, diba? Kining balay nga itong gamit, lakabingbing, uroli, gracia. Nandun tayo ilaka, uh, ilaka joy, gracia. Asa man tayo mag-meeting, mag-gather ourselves, gracia, oi. God always provides. He never fails. And when we keep on plugging in doctrine, continue in His Word, and we have more doctrine, more truths, apply in our life, more openings in the future will come. That is why. Let me leave this message to you. You members of the royal family of God are being prepared by God, being trained by God right now, because the principle always comes out. God only uses those who are prepared. You are going to be used by God. How wonderful experience would that be? You are being used by God. Anywhere, in any uh, 
in any uh, uh, in any place you go, God somehow, God the Holy Spirit will lead you away. Lead, no, no, not lead you away, but lead you some way that you can become an impact to people. That is our uh, our uh, point of doctrine here from the Word of God. That you as believers are supposed to impact other people. And yes, of course, that's what uh, in the millennium as believers we are going to be used by God in the millennium. How? How are you going to be used by God in the millennium? To rule. <clears throat> to rule nations. That's why you have to rule nations. So therefore, we church age believers are unique. We are unique. Hmm? Uh, did you get me? I said, you are unique as members of the church age. Because why? Here are the reasons. Do you have this list? We church age believers are unique because of the following reasons. We are unique. Number one, our station in life is as members of the royal family of God. Our station in life is as members of the royal family of God. And royal family of God, Butangil RFG. Our station in life is as members of the royal family of God. Number two, everything we do in life is our full-time Christian service. Everything we do in life is our full-time Christian service. Number three, we are recipients of 70 things.